guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I'll be reacting during to the finale of Flip Flappers. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Let's see how this show ends. Here's one thing I do want to talk about that, you know, technically, really, this show hasn't explained yet. Poppyka was an adult when she was with me. How in the world she go from an adult to a kid with Coconut? You want to explain that? Oh. I, I mean, that kind of really answers that right there. Is that a tree of aging or something? Possible? The coconut? Yeah. And now, yeah. Did you do the Benjamin Button thing? Oh, is that the movie? The, <laughs> the Bad Fit movie? Hmm. But you're hungry. <laughs> mm -hmm. So then hold up. If they've already met before, why didn't Coconut remember her immediately then, you know? Mm. Oh, that's so cute. My God. Mm -hmm. It's so hot. I'm tired, even though it's like six in the afternoon. Not even six in the afternoon. Six in the mother of the evening. <laughs> <laughs> See, and they even meet the same way. She's looking down, she looks up, and there's Pelfina. <laughs> That's not coincidence at all. <laughs> You're probably wondering about the Japanese characters. I had to download this on Yan because I couldn't download the last episode anywhere else. Well, technically not when we get older. I mean, yeah, we still belong to our parents and stuff, but, um... Yeah. Um, it's just still so weird that her mom is the bad well, most mothers are usually somewhat the bad guy or the holy shit. Um good guy. <laughs> Huh? 
Um, time out real quick. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh. How there's no end up than his mom. Well, that worked. Where the hell is salt? I think he would have been out there with those two. <laughs> no, don't go near that. He gonna die by the end of the thing, hey? I mean, so that both of her parents can finally be together? Yeah, okay, hold up. Wait, wait. Mimi, if that is your love, I hate to see your anger or your sadness. Jesus Christ, woman. How about no... Girl, your mom got a problem, and she need, like, help, <laughs> major help. That should be salt, right? See, you don't really mean that, though. Hmm. 
Is she about to go into like some weird ultimate form BS or something? <laughs> I kind of figured that, you know, with girl, no, you ain't. If you need me, pull that over there by salt. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, well, she's pretty. I like that. You know, she kind of looks like freaking Omade from Madoka. Oh, my God. Double homage, yes! <laughs> I mean, yeah, let her go, because yeah, 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 help. They can all come together. Oh, God. Yeah. I <laughs> know. You would think that they would replay the opening song again because it feels like some OP moments are going to possibly happen. I'm not 100% sure. That's it. That's really how they just going to go ahead and defeat her. Okay. Okay. You. Yeah.
Mm -hmm. The fuck? I mean, this is going to be their last time they're going to be together, but no. So then Poppy can never gonna wake up? Hold up. No. Mm-mm. 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 She stayed with me, didn't she? See, you sitting here avoiding the question. Because of the fact Papika and Mimi came out together. So there's just never... <laughs> he actually looks like a bunny now! So y'all really gonna end this series with the fact that Poppyka and Coconut can't be together anymore? What is this fuckery? What is this? She's in a depressed world without Co a freaking Poppyka. Y'all got me fucked up. Mm-mm. Because you put her in the bubble and let her go. So what did you do?
So she was in another pure illusion? It looks really pretty. Holy shit. Hello, puppy. Did you, Cody? How did you get it off this time? <laughs> Cody. You just took it off. You're just like, I'm taking it off. Okay, final thoughts on this show. I really enjoyed this a lot. Finally, after three years of this show being on and aired and hearing good things about it, especially around the time when I was doing just Magical Girl Rising Project and Kajo as my first two reactions, being able to see it, it was everything that I truly wanted. I mean, yes, it still leaves a lot of unanswered questions in a way. And the fact is like, it, that just played with us for like a second because she was in a pure illusion. So she got stuck in the bubble. She was flying away. And I was like, okay, so she's fine. She'll be okay. We just worried about Papika and how in the world she going to get back home. So she slashes through the pure, pure illusion, goes into another pure illusion. And it's the world that she was in. And Papika didn't survive. Essentially, she's like MIA. And then she was right there. I mean, honestly, I was about to cry. Like, hold up. We about to end this damn show without Papika and Kogan to be together. Like, that would have hurt me a lot. Because they belong together. Like, honestly. But it was a really sweet show. I do like the fact that her mother was essentially the villain for, like, the last few episodes. And having her parents come back together one last time before Dr. Salt had to go and everything. And it was sweet. It was very, very sweet. It was different from most magical girls shows that i've seen because typically usually this show ends up being by the like last few episodes really really sad or not as good as other magical girl shows but it did it correctly and i really enjoyed it and honestly wish that they had something else for it but you know hey it's fine other than that guys that is my reaction to toys of the series flip flappers if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel <clears throat> I make videos every single day. Join the Matchup Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially on next Saturday for the Patreons. And next Tuesday for the following show that will be starting on Patreon this weekend or Friday. I don't really know yet. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.